They traveled to an Indian forest to bring a lion, as he was the king of the wild animals. Using cunning tricks, the hunters could trap the lion and brought him to the zoo. When the lion was delivered to the zoo, he saw there some other animals, such as a hen, a sheep, and a little curious mouse. The lion was not fed for a week, and he suffered from being trapped. One day, the mouse wanted to measure how big the paws of the lion are. As soon as the mouse reached the lion, she was caught, as the lion was driven by wild instincts and wanted to eat her. Fortunately, the mouse offered the lion an interesting deal. Please don't eat me. I am the only one who can help you to escape from here. I know where the key is and I can bring it. After these words, the lion let the mouse go. In two hours, the mouse brought the key, but she couldn't reach the locker. So that moment, the mouse and the lion understood that they were completely helpless. The cage next to the lions was inhabited by a sheep and a hen. Hey sheep, look at this poor lion. He is suffering. Let's help him. Meh, what can we do? Let's help the mouse to reach the locker. The animals measured the distance to the locker and developed the following strategy. They stood on each other's shoulders so that the mouse was on the top to reach and open the door. Finally, together, these animals opened the cage and freed the lion. Since that time, they became good friends. We, we, we named it Lion and the Gang. Um, and the moral of the story is that regardless of your size, regardless of your background, we are all keepers of knowledge. And when we contribute and we work together, we can help each other to collaborate and set ourselves free.